Welcome to Sketching Scotland, a series of tutorials to help you draw our beautiful country. This time we are drawing one of the most photogenic spots in Scotland, a sea arch on the Moray coast called Bow Fiddle Rock, so called as it resembles the top of a fiddle bow. If you're going to be doing lots of sketching, I would recommend you buy a few essentials, a hardback sketchbook and a range of pencils, pencil sharpener, a rubber or an eraser if you're from across the pond, a good seat and desk, kitchen table will probably do the trick, or you can draw on a tablet, as I'm doing on this demo. But all you need are the three Ps, paper, pencil, and a bit of patience. Okay, start by drawing the horizon line uh, just above the middle part of the page. Then we're gonna draw a monkey triangle shape, just in the kind of middle of the page, and then another wonky triangle right next to that, followed by yet another wonky triangle, smaller one this time. Then we're going to draw in a few large rocks just outside the main rock, and then just draw in a big squiggly line there. I'm just going to, we'll come back to that later. Uh, then we're going to go into a bit more detail in the actual rock fill in. Now we've got our kind of base shape with the triangle, so we're going to draw a more defined kind of shape, and then go into that that with a bit more detail. And then I'm going to start drawing in the kind of angle shape of the rock. Um, it's a really distinctive shape that you can see on this rock. It was made by when two continents bashed together hundreds of millions of years ago. It made this amazingly hard rock called Cullen Quartzite. Um, and that's what gives it this really distinctive, distinctive shape. Yeah, you would not want to fall on it. You would hurt yourself. You would come off first. Definitely. Yeah, she's going into a bit more detail and adding some of the shape. And then we've got the hard bit because that kind of alien shape that we added in, we're going to have to go in and add a bit more detail to this. And there's basically lots of different zigzag lines. Um, yeah, it's really all around that kind of coast is really, really nice. Uh, scenery, really nice coastal walk um, from I think it's, it's like Bucky to Cullen um, it's about two and a half hours and it's like absolutely gorgeous also recommend going into Port Noki, probably one of the best fish and chips, it's close to Speyside as well so close to all the different distilleries so loads of nice places that you can draw so we're just going back in here, adding a bit of detail into the pebbles, and then we're going to go into a little bit more detail into the, the sky and the sea. And a little tip from the photographer who took the original pic that we're basing this drawing on. There's a couple of weeks in the year, one in May, one in August, where you can capture the sunrise coming through the, the gap in the Bofiddle Rock. And we're just going to go in and add more detail into the rocks and the sea and the pebbles and the kind of shoreline just adding little details of the water and this is where it can really kind of come to come to life all these little details that you can add add a few clouds in the sky and then we can add a nice bit of color as well add a bit of green algae to the to the rocks and beautiful blue sky and there we go we have just drawn a rock formation a hundred million years in the making Bow for the rock. When you've completed this one, why not try sketching another location? We'd love to see your sketches, so please send them to us using the hashtag SketchingScotland. It's not quite the same as being here, only in Scotland can you appreciate the full beauty of these types of sites, but it should keep you busy until you can come and sketch in person. For now, happy drawing! <laughs>